In football, blocking is when you stand in your opponent's path and use your body to prevent him from moving forward. In football, as in chess, this tactic is very much the same. For example, in football, blocking is used to protect the quarterback and in chess, it is used to protect the king. In football, a defender also blocks a player to prevent him from scoring a touchdown. As in football and chess, we often block pawns to prevent them from promoting or scoring. In football, once again, blocking is also used to help your teammate score a touchdown. It is the same in chess where it can be used to help a pawn score or promote. We will be looking at each of these chess examples referring back to our football analogy as we go along. Let us first look at how to protect the quarterback or king with blocking. White plays bishop b5 check and attacks the king. Come up with a move that black can play to block this attack and protect his king, the quarterback, from being sacked. The best move here is knight d7. You have to be very careful here as knight c6 is also another way to block the check, but it would lose a piece the bishop could simply capture it. The only safe blocking move is knight to d7. Let's look at some more examples of this. This is a very basic example of blocking. Black will play bishop to d4 check here and white wants to block the attack and protect his king. There are two ways in which he can do this. Which one is the best? The very best to move here is to block it with bishop f2. The bishops are worth the same, so white will not lose material this way, and will protect his king. If white tries to block it with his rook, then black can simply take the rook and win material. The rook is worth 5 points and the bishop is only worth 3, so black would be winning in that example. Let us look at one more example of protecting the king when it is attacked. This position comes from an actual opening, the Petrov defense. I'll go ahead and show you the moves that we played to reach this position. White played his pawn to e4. Black responds e5, we develop the knights, and capture here in the center. It is white's turn to move, and his king is currently under attack. So how can white protect his king? There are actually two good solutions to this problem, and there are no bad solutions. White can play either queen to e2 and protect his king or bishop e2. Now some would argue that playing the bishop here is slightly better because it allows white to develop a little bit faster. But either move is good. In football, we also use blocking to prevent a player from making a touchdown. In this position, White's pawn is about to make a touchdown or promotion. Remember that if your pawn reaches the other side of the board, it can promote to a queen, knight, rook, or a bishop. The knight must stop this pawn before it is able to promote. Can you see how to do that? The correct move is knight a7 blocking the pawn from moving forward and thus preventing it from promoting. 
Black pawn here on c3 is threatening to move down the board and promote. Is there a way for white to block this pawn and prevent it from moving forward to promotion? This is the exact same tactic that a football player uses to prevent an opponent from scoring a touchdown. The correct move is knight c2, blockading the pawn and preventing it from moving forward.